Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Leadership Speak series at L4. Today, I have a distinguished guest from another part of the continent, the Southern America continent. Today, I have the pleasure of welcoming my partner, uh, Jose De La Osa, CEO of Next Gen Soluciones from Colombia. Welcome to the show, Jose. Rigo, thank you very much for that kind introduction. Thank you for the invitation, and I'm very happy to be here today. Uh, my journey started in Colombia. After finishing my college, my undergraduate, I traveled to the United States to complete my graduate studies. Once I finished my graduate studies, I started focusing in the IT and IT services industry. I had uh, the privilege to work with some of the leading companies in the world. And um, that journey took me to a next step, which is starting a next gen. We have our main offices in Colombia, in Bogota, and in Medellin. And we have team members across different countries in Latin America. The vision has evolved over the years. So the first ingredient of a vision, I think, is allowing it to be flexible. There's some elements that don't change. In our case, is being of service with outstanding outcomes and innovation to our clients, our employees, and our communities. Number two, there must be a clear purpose Making money is not a purpose. How you are going to provide value to stakeholders around your company? How are you going to provide a service that creates value to your clients, to your employees, to your community? I truly believe that if, you're, if your personal purpose and if your unique qualities are some how manifested in your company's purpose, it's going to enable you to grow more effectively and also to withstand the challenging times more effectively. The third element is a measurable impact. Your personal values should somehow be imprinted in your company's vision. Communicate, 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 and communicate in all of the forums that you work uh, with. There must be a relation between the work that you are doing and the vision that the company has. You must be able to communicate that vision in a way that it relates to all areas of the company. So one of the purposes a uh, company is to provide services, outstanding quality, and that provide exceptional value. So you must align your teams with that value that they're providing. Sometimes it's a challenging story. So yesterday I was speaking with one of our project managers telling her that the client needs to improve throughput because there's a certain um, a timelines and, and objectives that he needs to meet in his product. Let's take the whole product development process and identify in each step how we can help the client speed up the process. So what we did with that question was align fully with our client's objective, empower her to come up with a solution that provides value. So when she completes that task, she will be very well aligned with our vision, which is provide outstanding services and provide value that exceeds our clients' expectations. We need to do a bit more of is communication. We are structuring is periodic touch points, weekly, monthly, quarterly. If everybody within your team understand the direction of the company and understands the focus of their particular area and how their contribution and focus in that particular area contributes to the overall direction, you're doing a good job. One thing is communicating your vision and one thing 
is showing examples and creating that integration so they can live it. There's a, an old saying, management consulting and, uh, and writer, uh, Jim Collins. You need to have the right people on the bus. And once they're in the bus, once they're on the bus, you need to put them on the right seat. And if and when needed, you need to change them from that seat to another seat. So the challenges we've had are perhaps not having a process that enables us to make sure that 100% of the right people get on the bus. We've had challenges, maybe too much focus on skills, too much focus on those rock stars that are amazing in what they do, but perhaps they don't share our values. When I say having the right people on the bus is hiring the right people. So we look for three uh, things, people that want it, people that get it, and people that know how to do it. People that want it are people that are motivated by your vision and they want to be part of that journey. People that, um, that get it, people that, that get it are, um, are folks have the skills that you need. And the third is that uh, they know what it takes. Thank you for taking our time and talking to us. Ringo, it's been my pleasure. Mm, thank you for inviting me. And uh, I feel delighted to be part of this community. Have a good day. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Like, share, and subscribe to the EL Forum channel. Click the link below to enjoy the full video.